I just talked for a minute and a half and I didn't even press record. What's going on? This is the state of my living room. So I have a concert next week. It's the Chapel Roan concert in Toronto. Yeah, baby, Toronto. And the theme is sleepover. My friend Lauren and I are going. You'll probably see someone out at the end of this, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I said I would make his quilt coats. And when I offered to do that, I had not yet made a quilt coat. But if you've seen the last video, then you'll have seen this bad boy. Uh, and now I have a week <laughs> to make two quilt coats, even though this one took me about a month or three weeks or something like that. So I'm a little scared, but it did not keep me up last night. So that is good. I did some math and I had two fat quarter bundles that I purchased last year because I really haven't bought any fabric this year and I should be good to use up both of those and I might need to get like an additional yard maybe I will need to purchase some lining fabric and I have an idea I'm gonna go to fabric land right now I am mostly focused on making some log cabins I'm doing the same pattern for both quilts coats quilt coats um, but I'm using different fabric I was gonna do something different for both of them but in the interest of time and getting this done I'm just gonna keep it really simple I'm starting with the back panel because that's the largest and so if I can get that done today and then whatever leftover fabric I have that doesn't fit on the back panel I will just use some scraps and probably pull some of my other fat quarters make it work and I hope this makes sense as I'm explaining it because it makes sense in my brain but I've got all the pictures running through and you probably just have to listen to my words. I just poked myself in the eye with the seam ripper. I'm so scared to look. It is Wednesday right before supper time and I've been sewing for most of the day. I'm ready to be done. <laughs> what did I accomplish today? This. I have my back and my sleeves all done for both coats. Before I can quilt them, I have to have batting put together. I did spend about an hour or so going through my batting scraps, which the entire time I've been touching batting, I've been reminding myself that I can just cut new from the bolts, the big roll I have. I don't have to go through my scraps, but like part of me still wants to. So that's what I've got done. This was probably not the hardest part. This was the most fun part of the day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle that tomorrow, the whole batting situation. Um, I don't know if I have enough fabric also from those fat quarter bundles. So I don't I don't know what I'm doing. We started soybean harvest yesterday as well, so that's also been kind of percolating in the brain. I decided last night that I will not be piecing the batting because it's going to take way too long. So I'm going to cut big ass piece and cut my pieces from that. The other thing I realized is that it's better to finish one coat completely than to have two coats that are almost both done. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm working tomorrow, but I'll be driving through town on the way home, so I'll have to pick up some of the lining fabric. I will be going to fabric land if all goes well. Otherwise, you never saw this. <laughs> it makes me a little bit upset that I can't use my batting scraps, but there will always be another project. Good morning. Welcome back. It is Saturday morning. I'm feeling very weekendy. I went to Fabricland. I bought a big stack of fabric. It did cost me some money. I think I bought a little too much, but it's better a little too much than not enough. The plan today is to finish this coat as much as possible. I will start with the lining this morning because that's pretty fast and easy to cut. I don't have to think. And then I will continue piecing in the front top and bottom pieces 
and then probably I'm hoping to get this thing done today if I give myself about five or six hours I'll get pretty far in a thrilling twist of events it is Sunday morning and I've done all the pieces I might have apple between my teeth but I'm gonna get this done I have almost all the pieces cut out. I just have to do the front upper part and then I can assemble the whole coat. This is very exciting. We'll see how today goes. I know I did an update video this morning before I started and um, things have been going pretty well. I am definitely tired from all of the working I've been doing this week. It's a very, it's a very simple process. I can definitely see myself making more quilted coats in the future versus quilts in general because this seems to be kind of faster. I forgot to leave a hole in the lining, so now I have to make a hole. Hi, I just got home from work. It's Thanksgiving Monday here in Canada, so that meant time and a half for me. Last night at about 7.40 p.m., I finished the quilt coat that I've been working on, that I've been showing you, that I've been stressing about. I'm gonna be taking this one and the test coat from September, which, there goes all my receipts, um, which turned out really well. I'm gonna take both of them with me to the concert and I'm kind of torn because I really like the fabric on this one, so I want to wear this one, but I don't know. I don't know. Do I make a selfish decision? We'll see what Lauren says. The pockets on this are smaller because I used a larger seam allowance. Wanted to play around with having a little bit more of a uh, seam allowance. Um, the length is good. I am... A meter 75 which is five foot nine and a quarter I did make a mistake I was supposed to understitch something and I understitched it the, the, uh, the opposite way which is kind of exactly opposite from what you want from what centered probably not yeah um, I brought it to work today, I left it in the lunchroom, and some of my coworkers got to check it out because that's all I seem to be talking about lately is going on vacation, going to concerts during the week, and quilting. I think if I wouldn't have taken like two or three hours to piece this together yesterday, I would have been done sooner. Just two besties going to a <laughs> concert in our quilted jackets. <laughs> Model? Yes, please. Okay, ready? Yep. I'm gonna walk towards you. Uh oh. <laughs> and pose. <laughs> wow. <Vogue>. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Ballerina in training. <laughs> it is over a week later. And I'm watching Hockey Night in Canada, wearing my Leafs jersey. Anyway, so I'm working on this next one. Distracting myself from the game by quilting and distracting myself from quilting by watching the game. So, uh, we'll see how this quilt coat turns out. I got the back part done and the sleeves done. I also did the lining today. It's been sitting on the floor of my living room this whole week. Um, I went and worked after I had that really great week off. In so many words as to say that I'm working on the second quilt coat, it is the 21st of October. Go sewing machine, go. <laughs> okay. I am chilled to the bone, colder than a stone and ready to go home. So this is Halloween day. Just giving you a quick little 360 of the coats I made. It's very beautiful outside. It is so cold and windy out here. 
I'm very satisfied with how both of these turned out. I learned a lot about this pattern specifically. I hope you enjoy just looking at the beautifulness of these. Um, so this is the one I finished last night. Oh, this one feels a little bit bigger than the other one. I'm so cold. This is the quilt coat that I took with me to Toronto. The one that Lauren wore to the concert. I know I said earlier in the video that I would let Lauren decide which one she wanted to wear, but I made the decision because um, I wanted to actually look at this quilt coat. Yeah, I thought it was pretty nice. Um, I love it. I got quite a few compliments and quite a few, I do mean like two from people I don't know and then a bunch of my coworkers have seen some of these. So, like a little validation. Uh, yep, I'll leave it at that. <laughs>